Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find for Kaiser X the Automist. Let's continue on for the last episode. So you might be like looking at this being like, hey, you're in a pretty bad spot. And you know what? I would uh, completely, completely agree with you. Uh, this, this is a horrible position for us to be in. Uh, everybody's rebelled against us. But we're about to take over Anatolian Kurdistan, so I mean, that's something. We're training up more Bulgarian divisions. Manpower, I think it's all our troops. Yeah, Fatal Bulgaria. Liberate Bulgaria, they're now going to be national populist. Which actually, I don't even know... Kiman Gorgiev? Sure, why not? Again, to pull you all here. Are you actually going to take Bulgarian manpower now? Not... Okay, apparently I don't know how to... Okay, train one. Then deploy like 16 of them. Okay, now it's actually using Bulgarian manpower as well. I mean, Bulgaria... I'm assuming once we kill you one more time, that's going to be it. I like how it's just Cairo Pact War 2. So sort of Nesh declared war on you. Okay, well that's not horrible. Iraq is here. How many troops does Iran have? Literally one to two. Okay, so you have basically nothing. You have one to three divisions. So luckily, this should still be an easier war than the first time. I guess you guys are also technically stuck. I don't think I can ever get you out of here. So I might as well combine you into one more army and then just disband you because you, you cannot get out of here. You just got pushed back into this land and there's nothing I can really do about it. Looks like you are Anatolian troops. Where's Kurdistan? Just stay on here. One to three. Again, if, uh, if Iran has literally two divisions in it, I'm not worried about them. Armenia has more than that, right? People are going to war with you. But it'll at least take some troops off our front for a while. Quickly redeploy down here. Delete this front. Again, I don't even care about these guys being well trained. I just want them on the field as fast as possible. Call the rock into that war. I think we're about to take Vaughn, which again, I think is your only actual city. Maybe Ulma? No, it's actually not considered a core of yours. Orange Army, you know what? You guys can probably also attack, even though there's not a lot of you. How many planes are in Greece? 50? We can fly over there. Give me the air superiority that I want. Hold position. And yeah, just don't be here. Because you're still fighting Albania and the Socialist. So I think there's still a chance we can maybe survive here a little bit. By the way, are we technically in control of these states? Yes. Does, does Cyprus have they have one or two divisions? Okay. Who? Okay, also, if I look at you, who's considered a major power here? Egypt and Yemen. Sure, why not? But it's important to note that Nej did not actually have war with us. And I don't think they're going to ever join the Cairo Pact because for the obvious reason they're at war with the Cairo Pact at the moment. Okay. Iceland is joining International. Honestly, we'll pull you back one province. 43 to 52. So we can have nine divisions here. Which isn't a ton. Apparently we didn't actually take Vaughn. I mean, they've got to be close, right? I mean, Armenia is close to being killed. Once Armenia is dead, again, that's one more army off the field. Okay, we're the conscript. Okay, we're at 40 percent stability, but I'm pretty sure that's just going to be owned like no states on the actual peninsula. OFH membership awards program. Uh, I mean, we kind of want to go to Dawn of Ottoman. We, we kind of want to get down here. What else we need? Iran does not exist. And we need to be at okay, so we need we need to win this war again for us to actually do these decisions. What we want is we want the soldiers to take Thessalonica. Thessalonica means all these Greek troops have no support whatsoever. And we also also have like no supplies right now either, because of course we don't. Why would we? I mean I would like more units. And that kind of goes without saying. 
But again, all of the, this whole front against Iran, Kurdistan, and Anatoly Kurdistan, this is basically free territory. It's really just dealing with um, Arabia that we gotta really worry about. Of course, we will take all states from you. It frees up our core territory here. Let's shrink down green army line. They don't need to be all the way up here. They only have six divisions in their army, which is basically zero. Move you guys down over there, because you have 13 divisions. Where's Blue Army? You're over here, right. I mean, you're taking heavy casualties. 38 out of 52. Apparently we lost some men. There we go. So let's just fill up this front. And once Greece is dead, we can start moving these troops anywhere else would, would work. I'm guessing unrest here is still... Yeah, because you're still at medium. And I don't know how we're ever going to get it lower than that, to be honest. You're doing... I mean, everybody's doing pretty good work. Purple line, five divisions. I mean, you'll stretch your way into here. And your job will be basically, hey, push your way against... Why are you not an offensive line? Not you. You basically will be pushed against the um, Iran, because they don't have many troops. They basically have zero units. And again, you just kind of push that way. You'll be dead in a moment. We're not over... Okay, we're over a limit by two. But that's really not so, so bad. The fate of this, assimilated into uh, our territory. But now that we have more men, thanks to Bulgaria. I mean, again, does Kurdistan, they have like no units, right? One to three. You just come down to here and then move your way to this city. That should basically be the end of that. You guys down here are doing a pretty good job defending yourself. Nej is... I mean, they're, they're trying. Let, let's, let's, let's give them that. Give them that. They're trying. Okay, let's see if we can maybe get a shot on these Greek troops. Because we have an aggression pack with a socialist. And Albania. I don't think anybody else can go to war with Greece right now. And we're still technically at war with Cyprus as well, so you probably want to claim at least these islands back. Recognize Rashidi victory. Okay, so Nesh has fallen. We're just going to put a few troops back on our borders, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Thank you, Armenia, for capitulating. What if you move your way into Baghdad? We need to take Mosul. I mean, again, most of these countries, two to six, because they got killed already once. I'm assuming um, if you had done that decision before the Cairo Pact War had begun, maybe you would have been able to. Because, you know, Egypt, Iran, Arabia would all still be at full strength. Also, why am I spending so much money on fuel? Because the Navy. Is it not docked? Yeah, no, you don't need to be out here. Give me at least some more fuel for the Air Force. Because that's going to be significantly more important. And you guys are marching to the major cities that you need to be. You're going to go here. Actually, you go to Baghdad. You go to here. And then move your way maybe down towards Basra. So we can kill the, um, Iraq as well. It'll basically just be... At this point, I think it's almost just like an easier Ottoman war. And then you're going to push your way down one more province. Again, if they take Thessalonica... None of these guys will really have any actual support, uh, which which is what we want. We we want them to be as weak as humanly possible, for obvious reasons, I think. 
So I am joining the Cult Prosperity Sphere. You guys just stay here for right now. Well, Purple Army does more damage. At some point, we will, of course, want these guys to unite with Purple Army. Thank you, Bulgaria, for the one... I think one aircraft. Really making a big difference here. Okay, you've almost killed this off. Any troops here need to get their supplies by sea. Okay, the Dutch capitulate. So I think the coming of France are doing, yeah, pretty good job. War propaganda. I don't think we need war propaganda. We might need war uh, economy. Uh, that That's one thing we could definitely probably use. Okay, I think this Kurdistan, as soon as we take this city, Kurdistan should basically capitulate. I'm going to run Muscat, Serenacea, uh, Cyprus, and Greece are all not in the faction. Yeah, then you move your way down like this. One who takes Basra. I mean, we're doing a fine job. Let me just put it that way. You're in... Yeah, you're in the Cairo Pact. Unrest will increase to get more building slots. But we do get some more decisions. And I, I don't think you can rebel like a fifth time, right? That can't be possible. I would hope. It might still be possible. Who knows? Okay, but I think it's time for us to start putting some pressure on these guys here. Mostly because we can. Put some pressure on you. One of you guys moves down to this province. We can wipe down all of you. Wipe down. Wipe out all of you. And that'd be nice for us. You're still slowly pushing away into Baghdad. You're basically going to just march into Tehran and then up towards here. Apparently, like, all these northern cities are actually still under our control from before. I'm guessing that's where our units were... Uh, yeah, no, because that's where our units were when the war broke out. So we still kept the occupation there. Uh, which is nice. I, we probably would, wouldn't mind probably just doing like a naval invasion. Maybe once Greece is dead, we can try doing that. Also, you declared war on the military government. Okay, because you're at 91. Apparently you're still winning this fight, even though you're definitely not. Push them out of Bulgarian territory. You are now dead. You're gonna walk into that province, deal with them. And Iran, I mean, they're gonna start putting up at least token resistance, but it really isn't anything to write home about. Okay, now that Basra has fallen. Keep you guys here for right now. You got some units in Baghdad, so they're not gonna capitulate right away, but I mean they're still not gonna do like a great job. Also, I think now we can go for like yeah, 1940 uh, research tech. Would be nice. And again, as soon as Greece is dead and we can move this 23 stack over to that front line, they got no chance. They're just gonna be dead as hell. Because you'll be wiped out in a moment. Start taking our way towards Thessalonica. I mean, how many troops do the Greeks have? 9 to 31. And 1 to 7, 4 to 20 on your part. And once we give the socialists, you know, once we're not fighting a two front war, they should end up winning. And again, we can take over, we can move a majority of these units somewhere else. Yeah, let's just move our way to Baghdad. They fight eight divisions. Social agitation, rampant corruption. Yeah, let's take over Beirut. You're like, that'd be a nice city to have under occupation. You guys fight here. You kill this guy. And this should be all of them basically dead. We can start preparing naval invasion, I think, into the south. For sure. But I guess after this is done, you will then deploy here. 
going straight into Egypt. Because again, everywhere else, Jamal Shamir, Head Jazz, I can't imagine there. Ottoman Rejuvenation. Attack bonus against the Ra Oh, we can attack. Oh my god, you guys have no chance of survival. This is like this is usually the event that fires if the Ottoman War lasts too long. It does apparently it doesn't care if it actually fires a second time. Because we now just get attack and defense bonus plus three percent against every single country we are at war with. And we were already outnumbering them. Not against Greece though. Greece Greece is its own thing. Japan's clear won the Qing. So that's gonna to lead to the um, United Front. And I'm wondering how that's actually gonna play out. Okay, Iraq is capitulated. Korean army will deploy its men down towards here. Purple army needs to spread its line out like this. How many men on this front? Six? Honestly, that's too many. Put two more down here. Because again, Iran doesn't have an army. They're not an actual threat. I think some units are already moving down towards this front, it looks like. Uh, which is nice for us. So you can push away into Damascus. And then straight down to Oman and Jerusalem. And that should get Syria to capitulate as well. Because how many men do you guys have? Yeah, one of the seven. Really isn't an actual threat. Yeah, and then you move your way down here. Purple Army, we have a new plan, pushing your way down towards Muscat. You know what? I was actually really worried at the beginning of this, that I thought, like, this battle would basically be untenable, but actually it's going completely, completely okay. There we go. We'll pull our troops back, because they don't really need to be over here. We'll keep a small three stack on the Socialist front for now, just in case... Um, Greece still ends up winning their war, but I don't think they will. I think at this point, against Albania and the Socialist, it might be stalemate for a long, long time. At which point, we'll do a naval invasion. Also, yeah, you guys now can just join into this front. Except for you, you're still down here. Make your way down to the, like, the Trusel States. You're going to move up to this city. You're still moving down south. You move your way over to Shiraz. So we can now have another three divisions. I wouldn't mind getting more troops from um, 43,000 rifles. Yeah, get th three more um, units here. Perform the Ottoman language, which we have not done. But once we're done this war, we can get this one going, which would be nice. You know, let's get two more naval dockyards. Not usually uh, an option I take too often. Okay, Damascus will fall. Blue army needs to move, and they will be very, very aggressive in their attack plans. Okay, so we we lost, you know, a connection here, but I think Syria's gonna fall in just a moment once Jerusalem's gone. If not, actually, like now. I mean, Iraq's dead. Syria will be dead in I think a moment. When will you get there? You get there in two days. Yeah, now once Blue Army is actually the front line with Egypt, we, we should be good to go. Like, how many troops? Yeah, you have one to seven. You're not an actual threat. And Iran will be dead very soon as well. Centralized taxation. Political power goes up. Stability goes up and more integration. Manpower goes down. Unrest will increase in a few provinces. I mean, our stability, it actually is going to be getting worse and worse the more territory we, we uh, reincorporate into the country, which is kind of funny. Is Syria really not dead? No, they... Oh, they need to get down to 0%. Okay, well... If that's the case, let's push you guys down towards this port. Start moving you towards uh, the Suez Canal. And you still have not actually formed a Chinese United Front yet. Which I'm a little bit surprised by. Resettlement law, I don't think we want to do this. At least not right now. It's not really necessary. I 
Cuba joining Internacional. Let's draw your line down like this. Orange line will go up. Because I think Orange Army, we also want you pushing your way down southwards into, like, Yemen. To me, that just makes sense. Blue Army, then, will be the one that actually is going to go and fight against Egypt. How's Russia doing, by the way? They're doing pretty, pretty well, I would say. I mean, I don't think Germany's going to win the war. Austria might intervene soon, but I think it's actually just going to be a, uh, a losing proposition for them. Okay, Ron, stay, they're still alive, but I think... Well, they're alive until we take, like, one more victory point. Go down two words here. You keep taking this area. I mean, you, and you're going to go towards the capital very, very soon. Don't know why you're all the way up there. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but okay. Okay, now Ron's fallen. Take their states. And with that, now all the purple army can deploy down here. And again, you guys have like no chance in hell of winning. Two could do by. You're one victory point. Do we need to take all... Do we need that city too? To have them capitulate? I don't really know. But for right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. And now, Joey, throw some down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.